Well, Halloween is a time that many children look forward to, but it can also be a very scary time for some children. From the frightening costumes to decorations, it can even cause some to have nightmares. Paula Tutman joins us live with a very unique story now about how one mom has found relief for her child. Paula? Hi, Ruth. I can't think of a more dreary night for All Hallows' Eve. Now, I'm actually live at Troy Historic Village, and here we have stumbled into a coven of witches, warlocks, and gremlins. And you know what? While this might seem very, very entertaining to many, to a lot of kids, this kind of realistic decoration is very, very frightening. It's anything but fun. A sleeping child is an angel, but four months ago, three-year-old Lorelai of Wyandotte began avoiding sleep because her nightmares were scaring her to death. Sometimes she would wake up screaming in the middle of the night. Um, she wouldn't get off of her bed, and she would be crying about the cat, the white cat. Reverend doctors Michael and Nick Sebastian are dream therapists. And while lots and lots of children have bad dreams, hear monsters under the bed and noises in the closet all year round, they see an impressive increase this time of year with the onset of Halloween and spooky decorations. You know, we all grew up with Halloween and trick-or-treating mm -hmm. and haunted houses and haunted hay rides and things like that. But honestly, I mean, it intensifies the negativity. Katie was so concerned about her daughter's haunting nightmares. She would actually look on herself for scratches and she says, see, it's right here. And she, you see it, Mama, you see it, you see it. And to see her that scared and to see her that terrified and as a mom not knowing what to do. She got online and looked for answers and stumbled over the Divine Guidance Institute. When she realized there were dream therapists in her own backyard, she took her daughter immediately for help. And I'm a very spiritual person. I'm a strong, I'm a strong Christian as well, so I knew that it kind of had to mesh in some way. Job one, find out what was causing the nightmares. Certainly right now, there is plenty of stimulus to encourage nightmares. In Lorelai's case, it was a visitor her mother brought into the house. And then Katie, she goes, oh my gosh, I had a medium over the other day. Something that medium tracked into the house apparently stayed after she left. And whatever it was, was haunting Lorelai. But then she was also seeing an entity in the house. It was a little girl, looked like a zombie, dirty dress, messy hair. The dream team came up with strategies to flip the bad dreams. They say these strategies work for children and adults, no matter when they have nightmares. First, talk about the dreams, and then rescript the dream's ending. The child shoots the monster, the child flies away, the child has a pleasant ending. You ask them, how would you like the dream to end so it's happy for you? And then there's a simple hum they employ. They call it the who. Your own pitch is perfect. Mm -hmm. You inhale and hue on the exhale. Just till your breath runs out. Real gentle, nothing forced. Hue. In other words, when a person or a child is having a nightmare and you hue with them, hue. It changes that vibratory rate from one of fear and being scared to one of harmony and peace and being relaxed. Katie practiced her custom techniques three times and then last night was the first time in four months Little Lorelei slept through the night. No nightmares. Just try it. Just anybody who's even skeptical or may even feel funny or may think it sounds strange or out of their comfort zone, just try it. Yeah, you know what? And here's the thing. The who is free. You don't have to be taught. You don't have to pay money to a therapist to teach you. You simply have to get in tune with your frequency and say who. And in fact, Ruth, you know what? I got to tell you, I'm a little curious. If anybody wants to try this with their child, I'd love for them to email me and tell me if it works for them. Incidentally, the Dream Team, they just started their own nonprofit because what they want to do is be able to do pro bono work for veterans with post-traumatic stress syndrome, addicts, and children mm. of all kinds, which is great. We put a link for them on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Big thanks. Huge thanks to the Troy Historic Village for putting together their coven of witches. I think they did a great job. Happy Halloween, Ruth. You as well. Yes, they did a, a really, really good job. And that story is absolutely fascinating. I know you're going to get a lot of emails from parents. I hope I do. I'm curious to see if it really works for others. Yeah, follow-up story. Okay, thank you, Paula, so much. See you later.